Welcome to this Oracle Analytics Cloud Hands-On Lab, where we're going to cover some of the augmented data visualization features. In this hands-on lab, we're going to use OAC to understand the impact of social media on product revenue. Let's start off by logging into Oracle Analytics. Once we've uh, logged in, we're going to see the home page. And we're going to navigate to the data section. If the data that we're searching for, in this case, HOL6502 is not present, please upload the, the data file that you were given with the hands-on lab. So we're in the visualize area of the product and we're going to take a look at the augmented analytics feature called explain. This runs some machine learning techniques on the background and gives us some insight into our data. Here we have some basic facts about the revenue data. We can scroll down and make a selection to use those visualizations later on within our canvas. So we're going to select revenue by month, revenue by date, for more detailed, and then revenue by customer age group. There you go. So we've got those three selected. We can also view any possible anomalies that have been detected based on the models created by OAC and then applying those back to the predictions on the data. And these can be useful if you want to start trying to understand some aspects of the data which you may not originally have expected. So we're going to make some changes now to make this canvas a little bit more easier to understand. So we can rearrange the items, the visualizations by drag and drop and bringing up the visualization canvas, we're going to change that revenue by date into a, a line chart. And we're going to change the revenue by month to a horizontal stacked. We can drag over ca product category into the color field within that uh, visual grammar. And then if we sort it, then there you go. So that makes it a lot easier now to, to see what's going on in the data. On the revenue by customer age group, we're going to change that to a donut. And then we're going to drag over the customer age group into the color section of the visual grammar. OK, so now we've started to see the trends in the data and we've started to make it a bit more colorful to, to highlight some of the aspects. Save your work as a checkpoint at this point. Ideally, you could save it into a, a new folder if you're on a shared system. And then give it a meaningful name. OK, so we've saved that project. So let's start trying to understand the data that we're seeing within Oracle Analytics. A good way of doing that is to add a trend line, for example, on this line chart. It's quite noisy. Adding a trend line will start to give us an idea of what direction the overall data is, is heading in. And here you can see it's kind of uh, heading in an upwards direction, which is a which is a good thing. You can change that trending algorithm if needs be, if the data would benefit from having, for example, like a polynomial type expression underneath that trend line. We're now going to add a forecast and you can see how easy it is to add these types of analytic properties to the data just by doing a right mouse click. So here we're adding the forecast and we can change the number of periods in this case to 60 so that we can actually see the forecast going off into a reasonable amount of time in the future. So in the bottom left hand side of the product we can change the number of periods there to 60. There we see the forecast along with the, 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 the prediction confidence. On the left hand side, you can see a number of properties. 
related to the canvas so we can determine if there's a legend for example or if we just want to donate the space to the visualization we have properties for grid lines for data labels date formatting what we're going to do now is add category to the trellis rows because we want to understand how that data showing us the revenue by date breaks up across the various product categories that we have uh, revenue data for so while overall the data is trending upwards are there some product categories perhaps where the trend is flat or even on a downward trend so while we wait for the trellis to update the next thing we need to do is to rearrange the visualizations on the canvas so that we can get a clearer view of how each product category is trending over time. So it's easy to move the visualizations around on the canvas, just drag and drop, and then you can see the drop zones highlight. Okay, so now we can start to annotate our canvas to document the insights that we're finding. And this, first of all, tells the story of your data and also facilitates collaboration. So the first thing is to change the canvas properties into freeform layout mode. You can do that from the bottom left hand side there, and we can change the layout to, to freeform. And what this lets us do is uh, take a visualization such as a text box. And uh, if we scroll down to, uh, to look for that text box visualization, there it is on the bottom left, we can drag that over and overlay this on an existing visualization. So we can now click on edit text and uh, there you can see the, the font properties, but we can just type in an annotation now. So this will appear directly overlaid on that visualization and whoever you know comes after us to, to view this or if we're sending it to somebody or if we are presenting it then we can highlight some of the uh, the key aspects of the data that we found. So in this particular case, we're seeing that the, the, the trend is flat for that particular product category. Uh, as you can see, you've got kind of flexibility over the changing the fonts, the size, and obviously the position of that text box. So we're just going to add another one to, to highlight the uh, the electronics product category and in this case we're going to call out that the the trend is actually negative in this particular case So we're now at the point where we've got a canvas, we've changed the visualizations to be clearer, we've added some color to highlight some of the key data points, we've added a trend and a forecast. Right, let's try and understand the impact from social media data and how that correlates potentially with our revenue data. The field mentions category is the same as the product category that we've been using so far. Let's use the augmented capability explain on that. Again, we see the basic facts about mentions category and we can select any of those that we wish to take over into our analysis. Here you can see the sentiment analysis and we can see that there's a bit of a, a peak for electronics and computers um, and again we can go through uh, if, the, if there's any combination of those features which are shown to be statistically significant uh, then we could actually drill into that as well and again the anomalies within the the models that have been generated so we're just going to bring over the the fact that we seem to have quite a lot of negative sentiment for that product category 
So using that initial finding, we can sort the data to make it a bit clearer, put it at the top, and we can start using the narrate functionality within OAC now to start building the story of, of our analysis. So on the left-hand side, you can see the canvases that you've got within your project, and you can drag those over to the bottom of the product to start telling the story so you can build this up in a logical order. And here we're just going to drag over the explain that we did on, on mentions category showing that, that, that high level of negative sentiment for that product category. So now we're going to create a new canvas and let's do uh, an analysis of the social media posts and product revenue. So we want to actually do a comparison of those two to see if there's a correlation between the trends. So we've got the uh, the, the, the date by uh, snippets is a term used for a social media post. And we've at the moment we've got them side by side. What we can do is then bring over the, the trend of the sentiment so that the various uh, positive, neutral and negative tones. So we have, in this case, now three line charts. Uh, let's just tweak that so that all the metrics for the sentiment are on the y-axis and rearrange them so that they fall in a line to make it easier to, to view the trends if they exist or any correlations if they exist. And we're going to filter on those products that we are particularly interested in. So if you remember, it was electronics and computers and clothing and shoes. One was trending down and one was trending flat. And we're just going to, to trellis these line charts by that mentions category so that we can do a side by side comparison. And then for the, the bottom line chart, we're just going to remove the legend so that everything is lining up. So we're going to change some of the color schemes now for those sentiments to make them a bit more logical. So negative could be perceived as being red. Um, you know, positive could be perceived as being green. And neutral could be uh, it could be blue, but it could also be perceived as, as being uh, a, a yellow type color, uh, especially if you're going after a kind of traffic light scheme for your, for your visualizations. Okay, so that highlights the, the negative sentiment for that product category. And we can start to see that there's a, re a relationship between the decreasing revenue and increased negative sentiment on social media for that product category, electronics and computers. So if we go back to our narrate section, we can then add that additional canvas that we've just created to to our narrate to our, to our narration. So simply drag it over. And all the canvases will refresh. And there you go. So you can see that we now have three canvases going from a summary through to the explain, which showed that there was a negative sentiment through to that summary comparing each of those line charts. And then let's just save that again as a checkpoint. Now, further insight could be obtained by using some other types of visualizations. We have been looking at social media, which is going to be text based. So let's look at adding a tag cloud visualization on a new canvas. So we're interested in the total number of snippets, which will give us, um, you know, an idea of how often certain words have been used and um, choosing the tag cloud, we can start to see what what people have been saying on social media. 
let's take the, the negative tone and relate that to the color. So a darker red means a greater negative tone and the size of the text means the, the volume of, of those words. We're going to use a, a date filter just to narrow down the, the, the range, date range that we're interested in. So that's going from the 8th of November through to uh, the, some towards the end of February from for this date range. And uh, we, we can see that we can also uh, change the product category so that we're only interested in the electronics and computers. And we can see some kind of data there, which is showing us that there were kind of potentially issues with customer service. Uh, and again, you know, this could be added to the, the narrative view and again to, to help tell the story of your data. So again, just drag and drop into your page order. Now we can click on the present button top right hand side and that changes the the view to a full screen view of your canvases. And this is great if you wanted to present your findings to your colleagues or you just wanted to have a clearer view without any of the other aspects of the, the product menus um, in, in view. And you can navigate through the pages along the bottom, the buttons there. So navigating back to the visualize page, we're going to add a text-based visualization. So typically, if people are creating reports, they quite often need to write a report of what they found. And OAC has some natural language generation capabilities, which make this very easy to, to do that. So we're going to create a, a visualization. We're going to duplicate it and then change one of them to the language narrative. And there you can see OAC has automatically generated a, a language based description of the data. It's very powerful and it also helps people uh, to be very productive when when doing analytics like this. So let's again narrow down the mentions category to electronics and computers. And then you can see that the language narrative has changed interactively with the addition of that filter. Going back to our narrate view, we can then add this canvas to the uh, towards the end of our story. So we've now built up a fairly um, thorough analysis, telling the story of the data, going through the revenue, the overview, noticing the trends, doing some augmented analysis using explain, and then looking at the, the social media as well as the language narrative at the end. You may want to export this. We have different formats such as PowerPoint, PDF, or you may want to use the DVA format to, to send the project to uh, a colleague with, with the data as well. So that concludes the hands-on lab for augmented data visualization with Oracle Analytics Cloud.